Make Life Your Runway and I'm here with my summer makeup look. It's kind of a glowy, no makeup makeup that I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm at a little bit of a different angle so hopefully I'm not too far back from you guys but you'll have to let me know in the comments and we can always adjust. But if you want to see what products I recommend to you guys, and this is going to be more so about products than application because the actual application is pretty simple, um, but I have dry skin, so this will be um, for people who have normal to dry skin, but I will throw in some tidbits about oily skin as well. Of course, this is all preference, um, so some of these things might work for you, they might not, but this is what's working for me and I wanted to share it with you. So if that sounds like something you'd like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Alright, you know we gotta start by putting on the headband from Claire's from like two years ago. So we're a little different here with this setup for a couple of reasons. I kind of like you being able to see everything that's happening so you're a little bit farther back, but also in front of the camera is a monitor so I um, plugged you into a monitor so I can see what you're seeing at all times. So hopefully I'm still looking right here and not down here, but if I do look down, you know why. And before we get started, let me show you. My dog Morty got groomed and he looks like a little fox right now. He's a Pomeranian. He's old. He's almost 13. And we just found getting his hair cut shorter um, is easier. So we did your baby. What is my hair doing? <laughs> let me... Let me fix that. Look at this little baby. Say hi, Momo. Okay, he sees himself in the monitor. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's barking at himself. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, first off, we're gonna go with the Urban Decay Quick Fix. This is the Coconut. Let me restart. Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray, and it does have coconut water in it. This is a very similar product to the Smashbox Primer Water, and you guys know I love my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is ride or die. No makeup is done without it. So I wanted to try one of their other sprays, but because their sprays cost so much money, I wanted to just get a smaller size. So this is their travel size. Um, you can get it from Ulta, Sephora, or, or Urban Decay's website. This is $15. So I've used it about 10 times. I'm about to hear on it. I just wanted to see if I liked it before investing all the money into it. And so far I like it. It's not as tacky as the Smashbox Priming Water. I personally didn't like it. I went through two full sizes of that one and it's just too tacky for me. How I like to use this is I keep it in my bathroom and then I'll put on my lotion, my regular spray, and then I'll put this on. And it will just give me a couple of minutes um, to let it sink in before I come into this room and do my makeup. So I am going to go ahead and spray it on my face. And it does smell like beautiful coconut, like kind of like coconut and tanning lotion. Like I just feel like I'm on the beach right now. <laughs> so this is really nice so far. We'll see how I feel about it when I get um, almost out of it or finish it up to see if I want to spend the money to get the full size. Then I still do an actual primer with this and um, like I said I have dry skin so I'm really trying to hydrate my skin so I like hydrating primers. If you have oily skin then you're going to want something a little bit thicker and mattifying. For example, here's a sample size of the Urban Decay. Um, this is the Elliptical Illusion Complexion Primer and this is just um, thick basically so you're gonna press it in your skin and it's gonna create a heavier barrier between your skin and your makeup which will um, reduce uh, your oil breaking up your makeup basically but with my skin I want as much hydration as possible so I have the Too Faced Hangover RX and then I also have the Cover FX Illuminating Primer both of these full size are gonna run you between 32 and 36 dollars I have had the full size, so this is the travel size of the Hangover, there it is, of the Hangover RX. I've used the full size, it was actually the very first um, hydrating primer I had ever used and I loved it, but that was a couple years ago and so I wanted to pick up the smaller size just to see if it's something I'm still into and I do still really love it. 
Um, and I really like the cover effects illuminating one as well. I just think they're very nice. It's kind of like adding lotion to your face, but still creating a little bit of a barrier and smooth foundation for your foundation. So today I'm going to go ahead and use the Hangover RX. It's one of my favorites. So this is like a lotion. You're just going to rub it together and rub it all into your skin. And then you want to wait a couple minutes to let that sink into your skin. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a lip balm on. You guys know I love Jack Black lip balm. Any of the scents are good. This one is in Shea Butter and Vitamin E. These you can get from Sephora Ulta. They're about $7.50. Alright, so. What is on my skin? There we go. We're looking good. I have this right here that... It's just hanging out. I've done masks. I clean my face every night. It just wants to be a part of the show, so we'll let it happen. All right. I really prefer CC creams this time of year. Where I live, it is humid to the extreme. Not okay. I don't live down south. It's not down south humid where you're just like swimming through the humidity as you walk outside. It's not that bad, but it's pretty close. So literally when you walk outside, you just melt. It's just pure melting goodbye cuteness. <laughs> so I try to like outsmart the heat by just creating a very glowy face so that as I sweat, it's just adding to the glow. And I also like to keep the coverage super light so that as I sweat, dab, don't wipe the sweat away, dab. Um, it's just, it's not making like huge, it's not removing a lot of makeup where you see like smear and foundation and foundation, you know what I mean? Like when you cry or something and it's just water and it's just broken up your foundation right there. Um, so I feel like I'm out, I'm out smart in mother nature and makeup right here. <laughs> so let's talk about products. I have a few different products I want to share with you. Um, the first one, um, I wanted to share with you affordable and high-end products and unfortunately for the primer I have not found a drugstore primer that I like so that's why I didn't have one for that and there is a wet and wild priming water that you could try now as well I haven't tried it but that would be an affordable option so moving on we have this is the L'Oreal Infallible and it is their Pro Glow and mine is in 203 Nude Beige. This is a beautiful medium coverage foundation. This is what I recommend to all my friends when they text me or message me on Facebook saying I'm trying to buy some makeup. What should I buy? I'm like well what's your skin type? And when they say normal to dry I always recommend this one medium coverage it plays well with all products and it also just wears nicely throughout the whole day and it has a beautiful glow that is not too much so this is my number one recommendation if you want more of a foundation my other two recommendations are CC creams so um, first is my preference in the summer it's it, it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus and I like that it has an SPF of 50. This is a medium coverage CC cream, which is very unheard of for a CC cream. And mine is in light, so it's super dark. This is pretty much as dark as I'm going to get for the summer. I might end up getting a little bit darker, but the lights are washing me out right now. Um, but you can see it's still pretty dark for my skin tone. So I have another CC cream that I mix in it, and this is the Mary Kay CC cream. I do like this one a lot. It has an SPF of 15, and this color is very light, but this is a true CC cream. It's very light to light coverage. Um, you can build it up to wear like a couple of coats so it's an actual light coverage. You're not going to get medium or full coverage out of it. So you're very much going to see your skin through the wear of this. And that's really good um, just depending on your preference. I will throw this on if I'm just running to the grocery store or I just need somewhere to be but I don't want to be made up. I just want to even out what's happening on my face. So um, a lot of times I end up mixing these two together because they mix really well together. Um, it doesn't mess with the formula formula of either, but mixing them together gives me um, a really good color and it's a really nice medium coverage. I'm not going to use this combo today just because I want to give you guys a simple, um, just one product example. 
And also this other product is new-ish to the market, so it gives me an opportunity to talk about it. It is the Lancome Skin Feels Good. This is a hydrating skin tint healthy glow, and this is a medium coverage product. I got mine at Sephora, and I blame Jen from Glam Moms because I saw it in her weekly makeup basket, and I was like, Ugh, I gotta get it. Okay, I had to change my SD card, so hopefully the angle didn't change too much. But we're going to use the Skin Feels So Good. This is in Nude Vanilla. And when I first wore it, I didn't really see anything special. But I happened to take pictures on my makeup that day. And I used it a couple of times after that. But I was going through my phone. And you might have saw I posted it on Facebook or Instagram. And I was like, man, my face looks so good. And it was this. And so... I've used it a few more times since then and I do really like it. I like that it's medium coverage and I also like that it gives a very natural glow just like it says. So I like applying this with my beauty blender and yes I am still a beauty blender fan. Um, it has a pump which is nice and I just do about three dots to start with and then I'm going to put that all over my face. Guys, can we take a second to talk about that painting? I did that at one of those uh, drink wine and paint, whatever they're called, wine and canvas. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we're looking like after putting on the Lancome Skin Feels So Good. It's like literally looks like I have water on my skin. That's how glowy it is. Um, it's very tacky and a part of that is because of the, um, the Urban Decay Primer Spray. It does... Um, it just holds on to the foundation so nicely, but we're going to set it because we need to set it. So I'm really into loose setting powders, at least I have been for the last few months. I did just pick up a uh, pressed powder um, from Ulta. It's being delivered. I ordered it online. So I will have one to add to the rotation because pressed powders can just be time consuming when you're trying to just hurry up. So right here is the cover effects. This is the translucent light powder and I am almost out of it. I do like this powder pretty okay. It's pretty average if you ask me. I have to take the top out because I have so little left. And I'm going to use this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. This came in our latest BoxyCharm. So I'm just going to tap it in, tap it off, and then I use this smaller brush to press it underneath my eyes and then to also take it on top. I personally find even if I don't wear eyeshadow, um, I need to set up here because my mascara will transfer up. Also we are not doing concealer today. That is a step I feel I can skip in the summertime because it makes my eyes look more natural, um, less cakey. Um, I don't know. I just really like the way that it looks. It's just more of a well-rested look for me personally, but that is personal preference because you might think there's no way you could go without concealer. So if that's the case for you, definitely go ahead and throw some on before you set. And then I'm going to, going to take my favorite brush for a loose setting powder. This is the Tarte Unicorn one. Um, but any dome brush I find is best because only the tip is going in to pick up product and then you can kind of like stamp and pounce it all over your face. We got a little crazy there with that powder. So for me, whenever I'm doing my summer no makeup makeup, I skip concealer, I skip eyeshadow, and I skip blush. So let me know in the comments what products do you feel like you can skip when you're doing no makeup makeup. Typically before I set my makeup, I didn't do it today obviously, I'll throw on the Stila. This is the 
um, Heavenly Hue Highlighter in Kitten. And what I like to do is just take my finger and stamp it on the highlights of my face and up top. But since the Lancome powder is so illuminating and highlighting, I don't feel a need to do that with this. But if I had gone in with the It Cosmetics, I definitely would have put this on. So we are skipping that today and we're going to move right into bronzer. I have two high-end bronzers to recommend to you and then I have two drugstore. So the drugstore, the first one is Tried and True Butter Bronzer. Mine is in the Light Bronze and this is what it looks like. And then as you can see, I have made some pretty big dip in it. So this is really nice because it is a natural contour. It's matte-ish. It has a little bit of um, sparkle in it, but not too much. And it's just really nice and you can layer it. One dusting of it all over your face isn't going to do too much. So you can really add it up and have control over your coverage. The second one that I like is more of a warm toned. It is Milani. This one is not talked about a lot on YouTube as it should be. Because uh, it should be talked about a lot because it's so good. This one is in 04 Glow Baked Bronzer. And you have a few options at the store. This one's pretty light. But as you can see, it is um, warm and it does have sparkle in it. So it's really going to add that summer glow vibe to your face. And then the two high-end ones that I have. The first one is like my... Holy Grail for me personally bronzer and it is the Too Faced Park Avenue Princess and this one has the shimmer in it but I like that it also can add some contour and a little bit of glow to your skin and you can really define your cheeks with this product. It's my go-to. It plays well with all products regardless of what I am putting on my face. This one always works out. And then we're jumping up to super high end. We have Hourglass. This one is the Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. This is a really expensive bronzer, but if you have a gift card or a birthday or you just want to like treat yourself, this is really nice. It's along the lines of the Milani one where it is a shimmery, um, I don't know, like warm bronzer. This is actually what we're going to use today because I like it and if you watch my weekly makeup baskets you know I just pulled this for my weekly makeup basket. I'll have that exact video linked down below. But my favorite bronzer brush is the Real Techniques. It's already like faded off. This is the multitask brush and what I like is it's like pinched. It's a little bit of a pinched dome look to it. So um, this one you really want to build up the coverage. It is a little bit powdery but that's okay so I for my contour I like to just stamp it in and then I go through and I just buff it all through my skin gorgeous it's just a very warm sun-kissed look and if you watch that girl she XO she always talks about like how she loves bronzing her forehead with this product you definitely get that like mm, bronze beautiful glow on the forehead a little bit of a contour um, I took it on my eyelids down my nose down my um, neck <laughs> just a little bit and I just love how it looks you can definitely get heavy handed with this product if you're not careful, but it looks gorgeous if you um, just control where you put it. All right, so we're moving on to the last thing for the face, which is highlight. I love beaming highlights for this look, mostly because everything is so natural. I just feel like you can really take it places with the highlighter. So I have three to show you again. Um, actually, three yeah three and two are drugstore and one is high-end the first one we'll talk about high-end this is Tarte exposed highlight this doesn't get a lot of love on YouTube but I just think it's absolutely 
gorgeous. It's just a really pretty like champagne in your face highlight. You can do one layer that doesn't look too intense and then you can really do two or three layers which is what I usually do and then it's just like beaming in your face. Another one I really like from the drugs, or this is a drugstore one, is the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the metallic highlighter in 100 Molten Gold. These are by far, hands down, the best $10 highlighters you can get from the drugstore. They are so good. Um, a nice buttery texture. It is a gold in your face highlight, but what's really nice about these products is they literally melt into your skin and it's not just sitting on top of your face like a lot of drugstore highlights do. I have the one in multi gold obviously. I have the rose gold and I do want to get the peach one. I just want to see it in person before I purchase it because I have a feeling it might be too dark. <laughs> And then we have um, the one we're going to use today. This is Physicians Formula Butter Highlight. And this is a um, somewhere between a powder and a cream product. Not quite like ColourPop consistently. Somewhere between power, powder and ColourPop. But it is similar to ColourPop in the sense that you can like smash it all together. Like a little bit of mine fell out one day and I just smashed it back in. But this is in the color Pearl. It's a really pretty, almost dual chrome. So what I like to do is put it all over my face and then go back over with my powder brush, or I'm sorry, my beauty blender to just kind of play down the dual chrome part. So for this, I like to use a brush. And so we're gonna use this Real Techniques 302. It's one of their purple limited edition. So I load it up on my brush and then I just take it on all the high points on my cheeks and I do do a couple of layers. You see, it's like blinding. So what I like to do is take the same beauty blender I used to do my foundation and I'll just pounce over so that it kind of makes it press into the skin a little bit more. And then it's not as in your face. <laughs> Alright, brows, lashes, gonna be super simple. We're gonna take the Essence Make Me Brow. This one is in Blondie Brows. Run it through my eyebrows. I prefer a fiber brow gel for just no makeup makeup days. But again, this is personal preference. Do whatever makes you feel most comfortable and beautiful. for lashes you're gonna be like surprised but this is only the second time I've ever used this mascara it's the benefit roller lash this is an oldie but goodie um, but we're gonna put this on the lashes I am NOT a false eyelash wearer so we're just gonna wear this I think it's good. It's definitely um, lengthening. It's not very like volumizing. Like I don't look like I have more lashes, but they're definitely longer. Final two steps. We are gonna set everything with Urban Decay All Nighter. Final step. Lips. This I usually just wear a gloss, to be honest, but. If you want something that is gloss but a little bit long wearing, I also have an option for you. So the glosses that I love are Buxom. I talk about them all the time on my channel. This one in particular is White Russian and I really like Sophia as well. These are minty, tingly glosses. Um, lip plumping but they don't feel like lip plumping, they just look nice. So that is option one. But if you want something that is a little bit long wearing, um, I really like the Vivid Hot Lacquers by Maybelline. 
it wears like a liquid lipstick but it's glossy all day so it will transfer but it's long wearing like a liquid lipstick it's absolutely amazing so this one is in charmer this is my favorite color from the line i have two cute but it's a little bit of a brighter pink it's not a huge difference but this one charmer too no too cute is a little bit pinker than charmer it's a little bit more nudie so we're gonna go in with charmer and i like that it has a triangle dome all right and this is the final look i do just let my hair live its best life in the summertime and don't touch it you know what, I don't need to control that part of my life right now. <laughs> so this is just towel dried. It's just going to do its thing. But as you can see, the focus is definitely the skin. Look how freaking glowy. Like this right here is that Physician's Formula highlight. But like this right here, that is 100% the Lancome. And you can see it covered right here on that little blemish I told you about. It's not red anymore, but you can still see a bump. So it's definitely not full coverage where you're not going to see things like that. But yeah, here is the final look. Let me know what you guys thought of my summer no makeup makeup. Let me know what your favorite products are for summer and you know, the, was it helpful? Let me know. Also, this. As I melt through the summer days, it will still look like this by the end of the day. It's just stunning. I really like it. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!